Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're back with our Pro Tools videos in which we're going to be demonstrating several functions that are included um, in this piece of software. So today we're going to be learning a couple other edit tools or edit functions related um, to your edit tools bar here in Pro Tools. So the first one, um, it's called Tab to Transients. If you go on your edit tools and then you have a, a top row of tools and then a bottom row, the very first tool on the left, okay, I think by default it's off, so it'll be gray, but if you turn it on, just click on it, it it'll, it'll go blue and it'll basically enable the tap to transients function. So what is the tap to transients function? Well, it's very easy. Um, and this is something you're gonna be using a lot, especially if you're editing percussive oriented material. So when you do tap to transients, basically if you have your playback um, playback position anywhere within the timeline, let's say here, this is a kick drum by the way. Okay, it's a kick drum. And as you can see, whoever played this wasn't very precise. This third hit was pretty good, pretty spot on, but these at the end and this first two are not. So what the tap to transient function does, you simply place your uh, playback position anywhere and then you press your tap key on your keyboard. Doesn't matter if you're on a Mac or a PC, just press the tap key on your keyboard and check what happens. Boom. The playback position goes straight to the transient. So it'll scan the transients. That's why it's so useful for per percussive material. So once you're there and your playback is there, you can now slice it uh, by doing Command E on a Mac or Control E on a PC, you slice it, and then you can tap again to go to the next transient, and then you can slice it again by doing Command E on a Mac or Control E on a PC, and now you can edit that. So now you only have that little piece, and you know right now we're in slip mode, but if we switch to grid, we can take it straight to the grid position, and then go back to slip and move these boundaries. And as you can see now, that transient is right on, on that grid mark. So we can repeat that, just tap to transient, go this transient, and then we'll slice it. We'll tap again, slice it. We can now move to grid mode and drag these to the correct places. Then we'll switch to slip mode, move the boundaries a little bit, and do the process for every single um, every single one of these transients to edit. And now, as you can see, all of my hits are actually on the grid. If we press play, that's perfect. Now, um, if you don't have this tap to transients function on, you won't be able to do that. You're going to have to literally zoom in into the actual transient, select it, and then slice and move it. But if you just have that tap to transients on and you tab it, the, the Pro Tools software will scan the transients and it'll know exactly where they are and place it there as soon as you hit the tab key. So my recommendation, you should always have this tab to transients function on. It's going to be very useful for editing, you know, kick, snare, um, percussive material in general. Anything that has transient oriented information, um, it's going to be useful to have this function on all the time. That's my recommendation. So that's the tap to transients function in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon, bye bye. Wanna learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.